just to maybe update, is there any anything in the hopper that we haven't heard about yet, or anything anything more? No. Well, I mean, basically, we've agreed to uh, uh, a one-year deal, obviously, with Connor Brown. We're just working on finalizing the contract. Uh, Jay Woodcroft and I talked to Connor earlier today. He's very excited. We're very excited to uh, to add him to our team. Um, obviously, we got some minor league signings, but uh, he's the big one. And just maybe a thought on what he can provide you guys. You clearly have some space in and around your top six. Do you envision him being a guy that plays on, on one of those two lines? I would think so. Um, you know, plays 200 feet. Um, you know, he plays hard. He's got good hockey sense. Uh, you know, I think that uh, obviously he's, he's coming off a tough injury. I talked to him today. He said he's been skating. And uh, um, as we get to... Uh, October will be 11 months out from the injury, so he's very optimistic. He'll be ready to go for training camp and ready to go for the season. Just think he's a, uh, he's a, good, he's a good hockey player. He's got hockey sense. He plays 200 feet. He can kill penalties. Um, he's got a couple of 20-goal seasons. So uh, I know he's excited, and I think he's going to be a, a great fit for our team. Uh, obviously a base bonus deal. Ken, hello. How are you doing? And uh, just, just a thought on the time is now. And you can deal with what you got to deal with next year at next year's time, but the time's right now. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Bob, I mean, if I've been here to talk to you, you, you all, I mean, the, the cap's gone up $1 million. Um, you know, we had three really, you know, three young players that uh, have had a big impact on our team last year. Obviously, Stu Skinner in goal, uh, uh, Evan Bouchard and, and Clowder. Um, and uh, they're due for, for, for raises, and uh, they're a part of where we're going. They're all 23 years of age, so, uh, um, you know, they're the priority. Uh, we didn't have uh, a lot of cap space. Obviously, you saw the deal that I made the other day, Costin out to, uh, to couldn't afford Costin. He wanted $2 million. Um, you know, Yamamoto had to get a buyout, so it's just it chips away at your depth. It's an opportunity for... Uh, for you know, Dylan Holloway and some some other young players. Bukestad just got a Hankinson got Bukestad a two year deal at two yes. million bucks. Yep. He's already signed. Is it still a possibility? Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday this week, he'll end up signing a center. Ideally, I'd like to get another center. Ideally, yeah. But let's see what uh, next little week, next time time frame brings. Hey Ken, um, I know Connor Brown's been rumored to be here a few times already. Um, coming off that injury, is there any concern because he missed the entire season last year and it's pretty major surgery? Well, my, my expectation is going to take him a little while to get going. You know, I, I, I think we're going to have to be, be patient with him. I don't, I don't think you're going to hit the ice on game one and you're going to be the same guy that you were last year. So I think, uh, you know, I just, I'm, I'm hoping that he, uh, you know, once we get, 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 gets up and running, once he's up and running, I know he's going to have a real impact on our team. Um, I would expect it might take him a little bit to get up and running to full speed. Uh, and with Drake Kajula, what, what do you like about him? He was here obviously before. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's got experience. He's, he's going to get good depth. We wanted to get some players in the American Hockey League or in our system, our team. Um, he's played in the National Hockey League. Um, obviously, I got to get. I got to get Bush signed. I don't know what his cap number is going to be. I got to get McLeod signed. I don't know what his cap number is going to be. So as I go, I'll, I'll sort all that out. Uh, ideally, we'd like to carry 13, 7, and 2. Um, depending on those guys, do we have to carry one less? Maybe. Uh, again, I don't know until I put all that together. But but uh, Kajula obviously is a guy that's played in the National Hockey League. Uh, uh, the people here know him, know his character. I know he's excited to re-sign with us. Uh, had a real good year in the American Hockey League uh, last year, so uh, um, provides us, I'm going to say, good depth, but maybe maybe he's on our team. Hey, Ken. Uh, I think Bob kind of alluded to it in his question, but we know that there are bonus, uh, bonuses attached to Connor Brown's contract, and I just wondered how you kind of find that balance between, obviously, you're trying to make the good team as good as, uh, as you can for this coming year, but those bonuses could or, or will kick in to the following cap, so how are you kind of trying to find that balance? Uh, I'm doing what you've wanted me to do for about three years. I'm spending. <laughs> We're trying to win now. You've had the heat on me since I come here. 
so you, you must love this, this today. This must be a great day for you. No, I'm, be, I'm in a jest. At the end of the day, we're, we're trying to win. We're trying to win. Obviously, at 775, uh, we're adding a top six forward at 775. You're going to have to pay the price at some point in time. Either, either we'd have to have more money in the cap this year. Um, you know, the cap's going up uh, next year. You know, don't know exactly how much, but they're talking five percent, which would mean to about 87.5 percent. Obviously, when you look at the window that we're in right now, um, you know what we've accomplished the last two years. Uh, you know, the, 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 the core of our team has signed up. The, you know, you look at the age of the, the core of our team, they're in their, they're in their prime. So, you know, just uh, certainly as we talked here, taking, uh, you know, he's, he's been injured. Um, but in talking to Connor McDavid, I, I, had, I've, I talked to Connor McDavid two or three times over the last, uh, since the end of the year, uh, end of the season, about Connor Brown and the, uh, you know, a, a player that hates to lose. You know, you're bringing a guy that, into that locker room that's got a lot of determination, a lot of passion, uh, hates to lose, is a driven athlete. I'm sure he's going to drive himself to, uh, um, you know, get up and running as quickly as, as possible. And I guess, you know, what's the message? The message is we're, we're in it to try to, we're in it to try to win it. So uh, this was, uh, you know, because of the injury, we could structure the contract accordingly as we get into the, uh, um, you know, at the end of the year, you know, whatever doesn't fit into this year's cap, obviously, will get pushed on to, uh, to next year's cap, but we're, we're, we're trying to win. You've, you've said a few times since the end of the year that you think the biggest improvement for this team or the thing that you'd like to see improve the most is defensively. And obviously, um, there are no changes in, in personnel, at least today. Do you want to do that, or do you think that growth will have to come kind of internally, whether it's, you know, players playing better or, or you know... Well, I mean, first off, first off, Daniel, I would say to you, you know, from the trade deadline when we acquired Ekholm, I, I think we were top 10 in the league in goals against. So certainly he had... Um, Ekholm had a, a, a big impact on on our team. Now that was only a quarter of the season, but still it was, you know, so we're going to have Ekholm on our team, you know, all, all year next year. I think we're adding a guy in, uh, um, in Connor Brown that's a good penalty killer. Um, certainly, uh, you know, special teams are always, always important. We, we, we believe our power play is going to be good. Probably like to prove our penalty killing a little bit, but, you know, really since, you know, since the trade deadline, we've, we've added Ekholm. And we've, we've, uh, we're going to add Connor Brown. Now, we've lost some players. Obviously, we've lost Klim Kostin. We've lost Bukestat. We've lost uh, Kyler Yamamoto. Um, you know, obviously, I'm hoping that, that one or two of the young kids can have an impact on our team. That's really what you... We were just actually up in the office up there and just talking about this, how, you know, the cap barely moving. You're moving one, one million. You know, you look at a lot of these teams, how it's affected the depth of some teams, it's it's hard to hang on to your depth. There's there's an opportunity for players to go elsewhere and make and make more money. You can't blame them. Ken, it sounds like there were maybe some multi-year options that Connor Brown might have had. You know, he knows how he's feeling better than anybody. The fact that he's willing to do a one-year deal and kind of bet on himself must make you feel pretty good about his health prospect. Is that fair? Yeah, I mean, I. You know, obviously, I don't know exactly because I'm not, I'm not, I don't, you know, I'm not in on, on Connor's s s circle, and I'm not, you know, Jeff Jackson. Um, I do believe that there was a, a, a quite a number of teams inquiring about um, adding him to their team, especially given, you know, that you could, you could get him in this year at 775, push push the bonuses out. Um, and again, I don't know I don't know Connor Brown, but I but I know Connor McDavid, and Connor McDavid knows Connor Brown, and and Jeff Jackson, the agent for Connor McDavid, is is the agent. So um, everything that I'm told, and again, when I talked to Connor Brown today, he said he's skating, he's pushing, he's working hard, feels good, he knows he's got another good two months before we get to uh, to training camp, two and a half months before we get to training camp. So you know, you can't read the future, but all indications are that uh, everything looks good and he's trending to be ready to rock and roll for training camp and, you know, a good three weeks of training camp, play four or five preseason games and um, hopefully he can have, uh, believe he's going to have a real real positive impact on our team. Can uh, Clem Costin stepped up and provided the team with some uh, depth toughness during the course of the year and he's gone. 
and, and I realize you're you're limited in terms of cap, but is there any you know f feasible way you can maybe get a guy that can uh, have a little bit of that dynamic in their game, possibly on a you know on a American League situation as a call up option, or did you think it at all about looking at you know signing a, a fourth line guy that gives you a little bit of uh, physicality? Well, right now I'm not sure if we're carrying 12 forwards or 13. So um, because of the uncertainty of, 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 of what it's going to take to sign Bush and, uh, and McLeod, um, you know, I guess you can't hit every, you know, certainly we need a, we'd like a fourth line center. You know, you're talking toughness. You know, so I don't know that you're able to, to hit every, um, I do feel if, if you've got a really good power play, that's a little bit of toughness or certainly makes the other team think about playing a little bit um, beyond the lines of the rules. But do I like toughness on the team? Yeah, I always had toughness on the team. Uh, I can't tell you what the team is going to look like in, in September because there's still some time here. Um, but I, 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 I'm not sure where we're at. So the answer is yes, I would like toughness. I don't know if we can, if we can go that route or not. I got I to see what transpires in some of these negotiations. Hey Ken, uh, just, to, just to kind of piggyback on that, do you have to sign Bouchard and McLeod before you can look for that fourth line center or do you have kind of parameters where you can try and find that guy before you do that? Well, we're so, we're so tight, I'm not sure how much money I've got to spend. So ideally, I would like, now, I don't know, they might, they might I don't know, they might take, I'm, I don't know how long they're going to take. Certainly, uh, so, so I'm, I'm in an unknown here with, with, with i got to hold some money back for those guys to... Uh, um, to get them done. Is it still a bridge for sure for for Bouchard? Is that yes? It has to be a bridge. Yeah. I just wondered. You you've said a lot of positive things, and you did the other day about Kyler Yamamoto. Is there any thought to bringing him back on a obviously a, would have to be a cheap deal? Uh, I, I I had talked to J.P. Barry's agent uh, earlier today. I think that uh, Kyler wants to uh, explore the market. Um, you know, I've got a finite amount of dollars, which he's familiar with. They said if, you, if you're in the finite amount of dollars, he has interest in coming back. Um, you know, I'd love to talk, but, but certainly if he gets an opportunity elsewhere, a certain amount of dollars, um, there's no way we can even match. So uh, um, J.P. Barry knows where we're at, and I think he's out there kind of talking to teams. And what are your um, expectations, for lack of a better word, about Lane Peterson? Where do you see him fitting in? Well, we think he's going to be for sure a number one centerman at the American Hockey League. Maybe he, maybe he can play in the NHL. Obviously, he played some games uh, last year. Uh, again, another guy that provides us depth. Um, let's get to training camp. Let's see what he looks like. Let's see what Drake Kajula looks like. Let's see what some of these, these players look like. And again, uh, um, I think last year, I think we signed uh, Yanmark like July 2nd or July 3rd. So you, you never know what the future is going to bring, but... Uh, Certainly there's, there's still some unknown, but there's, there's two months to training camp.